Dr. Jeff with you today again with Intern Adrian. A couple weeks ago, Intern Adrian talked about uh, bad posture from too much time on the phone or too much time on the computer where everything kind of gets rolled forward. Uh, so today we talk, talked to you a little bit about some exercises you can do to try and, try and help and alleviate some of the problems that, that these postures cause. So Intern Adrian is going to show you and I'm going to be uh, demonstrating. Okay, wonderful. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is called a position of relief. So this is gonna give your muscles and ligaments a little bit of a rest. So this is a good thing to do like every half an hour, an hour when you're sitting at your desk to get out of that computer posture. So I'll have you have a seat, Dr. Jeff. So you're gonna slide right to the edge of your seat. So your sit bones are kind of right on the edge of your seat. You're gonna spread your legs out just a little bit. Good, and most of your weight is gonna be through your legs here. All right, so you're gonna tilt your pelvis forward a little bit. So that's gonna create a little bit of a curve in your low back here, and it's gonna push your uh, breastbone up a little bit. Good, just like that. You're gonna pretend an invisible string is attached to your head, pulling you up, sitting nice and tall. Good, you're gonna stick your arms out with your palms up, good, like that. And the last thing, you're gonna roll your shoulders back and down, like you're trying to put your shoulder blades in your back pocket. And you're gonna hold this for five belly breaths. So a belly breath means that you breathe in through your nose, and you push your belly out. If your chest is moving, um, then you're breathing through your chest and we don't want that. That's really good, Dr. Jeff. Good, and you can relax. You shouldn't have any pain with any of these postures. If you do, you just back off a little bit. All right, so that's your position of your relief. So as I mentioned in my video last time, you're gonna need to stretch out some muscles or you need to strengthen some muscles. So do your stretches. Um, we're gonna start with a trap stretch. So that's that muscle here. So you're just gonna tilt your head to the side. You can add some pressure, but always start with two fingers. You don't want to get too aggressive with this. And it should just be a nice pull through here. Always make sure you do both sides and hold for about 10 seconds. Good. And the next one is going to be a levator uh, scapula stretch. So you're going to look down into your armpit. And you should feel a pull on the opposite side all yeah. through here. Right there. Good. Yep. Yeah. And again, just two fingers. Good. And you go. Yeah, feel that pulling through there. Perfect. All right, the last one is for the pec minor muscles. So that's the one that pulls your shoulder forward. So to start, you're gonna put your hands on your hips, <coughs> you're gonna raise your shoulders up to the ceiling, and you're gonna pull your shoulder blade back. So you should feel a little bit of a pull here. As it gets loosened up, you're not gonna feel the stretch as much, and then you can graduate to the corner stretch. Let me get over in the corner, Dr. Jeff. So you're gonna put your forearms on both sides of the wall here. Good. Uh, you can put your hands flat. Good, and you're just gonna lean forward. Good, and you'll feel that right across your chest. This one you will feel more, but it yeah. gets all of your pecs rather than just that little muscle, really which is why- all through there. Yeah. yeah, so that's why you start with this one. So now that you're all stretched out, you're ready for some strengthening. All right, so we're getting you sitting down. So the first one is for those front neck muscles that get weak, they're called your deep neck flexors. So this is gonna be a chin tuck. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull your chin backwards, kind of giving yourself a double chin. Go ahead, good and forward. So the key with this one, a common mistake is you tilt your nose down as you try and pull back. You want your nose to stay at the same level. Good. Good. So once you have this down, we can graduate you. So you can lie on your back for us, Dr. Jeff. So it's fine to have the pillow that actually adds a bit of resistance. So you're going to do your chin tuck to start, and then you're going to roll your neck up so you're looking at your toes. Good. While keeping your chin tuck. A common mistake with this one is that you jump your chin out first and then tilt your head up. We don't want to do that. That's working the wrong muscle. So always make sure you have your chin pushed down. Good. And up. Good. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the muscles that move your shoulder blade around. So this is called a scapular clock, but I like to think of it more as a square. So we're going to move your shoulder blade through like that. So to start, you're going to have your arms out. Your arms shouldn't really be moving at all. It's just so you can see how your scapula is moving. So to start, I'm going to get you to push your shoulder blades as far out as they can go. Good. And raise them up while keeping them far out. So that's the first corner. And then while keeping them high, you're going to pull your shoulder blades close to your spine. Good. So that's the second corner. And while keeping them tight to your spine, you're going to pull them down. Good. That's the third corner. And then the last one, while keeping it down, you're going to push out again. Good. So that's the fourth corner. You can relax, Dr. Jeff. So you're going just like that. So you're going to do three sets of this. This will be hard. Um, the idea is we're not trying to strengthen the muscles to get a lot stronger. We're just teaching the brain to turn them on. All right. So that's your uh, first steps to combating upper cross syndrome. Thank you, Adrian. That was excellent work. 
Uh, so to give you some simple hits you could do uh, at work or at home to try and help this anterior forward posture and the, and the shoulders rolling here that causes lots of headaches and, and neck and, and shoulder pain. Uh, any of these videos you can probably go on uh, Google and, and, or YouTube and find them and get demonstration if you want. Um, if you have any questions about anything we did today, you can always uh, email, email us at jgoals at goalswithwellness.com or talk to us on Facebook. Um, you know, if you're getting headaches and, and neck and shoulder pain, you think you've got some issues with, uh, with your muscles there, you can always call the office and come in for an appointment. Uh, I'm Dr. Jeff here with uh, Intern Adrian, and we've got your back.